We are Group 6, and today we will be walking you through the design process for our scam assistance service, TechBuddy, starting out with the discovery phase. History of older adult communities. Families used to live together until the Industrial Revolution where families spread. Early old age homes were built in response. Early retirement communities were created by 1889. By the 1950s, older adult communities were established. Currently, older adults are one of the fastest growing populations in the U.S. Independent living is the most desired community type for older adults seeking housing. On a national scale, 82% of elderly housing units are currently occupied and 98% of independent living communities are at capacity. Locally, there are 467 senior living communities in Oregon, with 12 in the immediate Corvallis area, and the average wait list time for a unit is two and a half years. Since we now know the background of senior living, now we can talk about the benefits. Senior living homes provide a space for older adults to find connection. According to nationalacademies.org, about 25% of people of 65 years of age are classified as being socially isolated, showing the perfect reason for group homes. Other benefits include well-being and help at any time of day, along with security within housing and safety. Now heading into the describe phase, our interview with Christy provided a lot of insight into the benefits of living at Samaritan Village, such as the three meals a day, having a kitchenette, as well as welcoming people service animals. We also learned about the residents at Samaritan Village, such that they must be older than 62 years old and that they all range in different levels of independence. Here we have our persona card, which features Marie who is a 76-year-old woman with a daughter and a son. She struggles with short-term memory and is often falling for phone call scams. Creating a persona card helped when it came time to do our analysis. During this, we focused on the concept of security and found that older adults often need assistance in areas like finances, security devices, crime prevention, and companionship. After drawing out our matrix, we were able to come up with ideas that sprouted from the spider web of words. We were able to split up our different ideas based on their level of comfort in conjunction with its price. This activity gave us an opportunity to see where all our ideas landed physically on a two by two grid and showed us what would be most likely to give us a positive outcome for a business idea. Older adults are one of the fastest growing groups in America, and we knew we wanted to create a service that would ease some of the burdens that come with getting older. According to our expert, Christy, a common problem she sees older adults face revolves around technical literacy and being safe online and over the phone. This is why a service that will protect users against phone scams is what we focused on. Each year, over 100,000 older adults are victims of cybercrime. 25% of all cybercrime impacts older adults, and annual losses from it have risen by over three times since 2019. Shown here is our initial mind map, as well as the branch which sparked the idea for our innovation. In thinking about technology, we began to think about how older adults use devices such as phones and computers and the dangers that could come to them due to scam calls or texts. The SWOT analysis here shows strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats to TechBuddy. A strength includes keeping many generations safe from scammers, while a weakness is the possibility of our service not catching 100% of the scams. Now, we will be moving on to the Explore section of our presentation. These are just a few of our examples of concepts that we have decided to brainstorm. We range from supplying weekly sweet treats to the home, to tech help, to animal care. Along with those previous concepts, we brainstormed even more. Trying to focus on what our professional said in her interview, we tried to come up with solutions to various problems. A smart medication dispenser that only opens at the set time, a chair that's cushion elevates so that the person can get out of the chair easily, or an at-home assistant device that has access to emergency services. While we enjoyed all of our concept ideas, the scam assistant idea proved to be the most beneficial for the time being, since scam calls are continuously getting worse and worse. Our team started prototyping a software that acts as a one-on-one -on -one tech assistant for older adults, which can be used to assist with scam calls, scam emails, and general technology questions. To visualize this software, a team made a slider, which demonstrates what would happen during a scam call after our software was downloaded onto the user's cellular device, which now leads us to the produce section of our process. With our final design, we created an app face that is friendly and approachable for older adults. The app uses color schemes that emphasize security and calmness while also utilizing a bold outline 
so it can stand out among other apps on the user's phone. Once the service is downloaded onto the user's phone, it is ready to be used immediately. An example of how it can be used is whenever a potential scam call is answered, the Tech Buddy app turns into an active call button on the screen. As the call continues, the button becomes bigger so it can gain the attention of the user, specifically if the call is on speaker. And once the button is pressed, a tech buddy will be called and they can essentially take over the phone call for the user. We have received helpful pieces of feedback, such as hiring people who are patient and willing to help, doing background checks on possible employees, and possibly adding an AI scanner for the common grandparent scams. Overall, our service provides aid to older adults and protection against scams at any hour of the day. Some of our future goals with our service include adding on ad blockers on Internet Explorers, AI detection over the phone, and blocking scammers at the end of the call. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our presentation, and please let us know if you have any questions.